but I've grown, I've had to acquire a taste for competing. Absolutely. Yeah. Because I'm not a super competitive or confrontational person. Right. Like I, I really appreciate sharing the mats with people mm -hmm. and when it gets turned into sport, like me naturally, I, I kind of turn away from that. But jujitsu has kind of molded me to like lean into that. Yeah. Lean into it because I know it's my weakness. <clears throat> And, uh, and I think that type of energy is what kind of drove me through the colored belt so well Right, is because I was so like, not afraid, but like, I just had this nervous energy every time I went and competed. Yeah. So it was like, oh shoot. Like, like I really don't want to lose this. I don't want to do this first of all. Mm -hmm. This is so honest. Second this is really all, good. Second of all, I don't want to lose this. Right. So I would go with this like crazy, like inner ape strength within right. to just beat these blue, purple, and brown belts. Yeah, to be out tough, to yeah. show how tough you are. And then at black belt, I was like, okay, I, I'm not going to be able to to keep this up. I, I need to actually, you know, appreciate this. What do you mean? Like, I need to find myself as a fighter and a competitor. And I and I always say fight because I don't even see it as a fight. I, can't, I have to force myself to see it as a fight. Yeah. You know, so... Uh, so, like, what's your mentality when you, like, go out on stage... And you're about to fight because before you said like as a younger, he was like kind of like a ape strength. Like I've got to win and I, what's changed now. I try to, I try to, I try not to lie to myself ever. Like what if I'm mean? not feeling like fighting that day, okay. which, which is, is I, I don't feel that I always feel excited to compete. Right. But like, let's say one, you know, you're, you're going up for whatever tournament you feel like kind of off. Yeah, I try to accept that I'm off and then figure out how I can fix it rather than telling myself otherwise. Yeah. Like I like to, to be genuine with myself because I feel like that's the, I know when I'm lying to myself, that's the right. problem. Yeah. Like if I go into a match knowing that, um, I'm feeling whatever, yeah. anything but ready know, to go superior confidence. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just try to force myself to say like, yeah, I could beat this guy every time. Like that lie doesn't last you throughout the fight. You have to address it right there. Mm -hmm. If you don't feel that superior confidence going into it, don't just tell yourself you do. Yeah. Actually figure out why, you know, you don't feel that way. Give yourself a few, you know, that morning, think about why you're, you're feeling that way. And, and really like now I, I, I try to like process it long before that way I can change my mentality rather than just lie to myself. Right. Um, uh, Any time that I do, I like I said, I feel like it doesn't last me through the fight. So th there's no, there's no benefit in lying to yourself in the long run. You have to like say like, oh, I don't feel good because, you know, um, w whatever my opponent to this or that or or my preparations were like, like this this year right. or w whatever it was. Yeah. And then you have to go on to the or at least for me personally, I have to go on to the next step, which is usually like. Okay, well, what can I do about it now? Nothing. Right. You can't do anything about it. And usually it. it's like a little too late. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then and then once you get past that, the, the next question is, so what should I do now? Right. Well, I should accept that this is this and I am who I am and I can still beat this guy. Oh, I can still beat this guy. Then why am I even tripping out right now? If, what's my best way of going about beating this guy is being superiorly like having that superior confidence. So here I am back with superior confidence, right? Going through that process is so much stronger than lying to yourself in the beginning. And, it's like uh, when you, it's almost as if you, when you choose it, it kind of disappears. All yeah. That. Yeah. 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 Competing is, is it's a total mind fuck at times. Yeah. Especially for people that it's start, my favorite dude, thing. people quit jujitsu if yeah. they compete, you know, they yeah. say in a lot of these martial arts, how to run businesses, a lot of da books is like, don't have your kids compete. Don't have your students compete. They're get injured or they'll get beat up and they'll lose and they'll lose the confidence. And then you lose business. These are, these are your two options though. You can either not compete right, and not be honest with yourself of <laughs> where you're at or who, who you are <laughs> uh -huh. and just be safe. Mm -hmm. Or you can compete and face it. And when you like face it, mm -hmm. it's always better than you see, than it seems like it will be. Every time I've competed, even if I've lost terribly, yep. it's never as bad as the worst thoughts that you've had about like what, what could happen. Right. And actually it gives you the best outlook from that day on. That, mm -hmm. Like you're so glad that you did it. 
So why would you ignore that? You know, like I, and I think about that, about training every day too. Like training, if you, if you wake up and you're like, oh, like today's not the day, right? Today's not the day to go into the gym, my shoulder, my back, whatever it is, or, you know, I've got this going on or that going on. All right. If you go into the gym and you bow it at the end of class, ask yourself again, if you should have went in. You're going to say yes. You're glad that you went in every, every time. single Dude, it time. It never fails. Every single time. Every time. So if you just think about that before you go into class, like, yeah, I'm, I'm saying it's not the day today, but I bet you if I went in and then I asked myself after the class, if I should have went in, I would have said yes. Yep. Like it happens every time. And, and you can always just go at your own pace. Like don't take these, like, like when someone, when I'm at the gym and I'm asking someone, Hey, like, do you want to roll? and they're trying to sit out they almost always say yes like even though they choose they chose to rest if i just say hey do you want to roll with that guy he's resting this round too they almost always say yes yeah. and then after the round i look at them and there's i could tell they're happy that they're they proud of that themselves round. yeah yeah the, it's it's never as bad as it seems competition's the same way like it's if if you do jujitsu and you're you're afraid of the competition I, i'm telling you right now you shouldn't be it's, it's the, the truth is not that bad. Just face it and go out there and do your thing. Yeah. Lean into it. Lean into it. Lean into it. I always say to my students, jujitsu is like life. So like how you are in the gym and how you handle jujitsu is how you handle your life. So if shit gets hard, do you shy away from it? Yeah. Do you stop going for your dreams? Do you give up on yourself? Right. Yeah. And, and, and I say this because it's my own personal mantra. Hell yeah. Know? Like it's not because I'm super confident in going out and I don't and think fighting. anybody wants to compete. Most people yeah. don't. I say it because this is exactly what I tell myself every time I go. Like I've competed, I think close to about 10 times this year. Yeah. And I guarantee you every, like it definitely gets easier the more I do it. Yeah. But I still have to say the same things to myself to, you know, get out there. Yeah. If not, it's too easy. Yeah. It's like, well, I'll catch the next. There's I, people that are definitely blood hungry out there and, and just don't care. Yeah. Like they, they'll, they'll go out there and fight no matter what. And if you're not one of those people, uh, don't be, don't be afraid. It's right. okay. You, you are who you are.